Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question about Z Xamarin forms the future of the mobile industry. It's a little bit late answering this question. I, I could have been an oracle and predicted this, but I'll, I'll do my best now. But before I do, I do want to tell you about the awesome sponsor that I have for this video, which is Hire.com. That's right. <laughs> I love Hire.com and you should too, because Hire.com makes job searching super, super easy. All right, so no, seriously, what is Hire.com? Basically this, okay, well, let me give you the right link. Hire.com forward slash simple program, and that's where you wanna go, and I'll tell you why at the end. But basically what they do is they make it so that you basically fill out one job application there in their system, and if they approve you, after they run you through your their magic approving sorting hat, Dumbledore gets involved and he says, are you the, he sorts you and stuff, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I, I read Harry Potter like a long time ago. But what ends up happening is that employers get to see and search for you, and when they do, they don't get to just send you BS messages, they send you interview requests. So it doesn't waste your time. You don't go back and forth, and not only do they send you interview requests, they send you the job salary for that job, which is good, because that means you don't have to like waste your time with stuff that is gonna be way below what you wanna get paid. I hate that, all right? So then you can just interview with a bunch of companies, and then, play them all against each other and get a super high offer. That's pretty cool. So check them out. Go to hire.com for chess simple programmer. If you use that link, you'll get $2,000 instead of $1,000. If they try to just give you one, you just email me and you'd be like, John, where's my money? And I'll, I'll, I'll pretend like I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> now they wouldn't stiff you. Gosh, you guys are so, so judgmental. They're awesome people, you know? All right, anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about Xamarin. I get a lot of Xamarin questions. I, I did, I'm, I'm a Xamarin MVP. Did you know that? I'm a Xamarin MVP. I'm not allowed to tell you inside knowledge about Xamarin, but I am a Xamarin MVP because I did Pluralsight courses on Xamarin and stuff. You want? You think I'm bullshitting? I'm not bullshitting. Check this out. I did, I did the first courses on Xamarin. Not only that, I did the slides for the first Xamarin Evolve conference. That's right. I used to be a huge, huge Xamarin guy when I was writing up the Xamarin. Because I, I actually like it. I like the technology a lot. I love uh, Miguel and Nate. They're awesome. And Joseph Hill. Yeah. In fact, I worked a Xamarin booth. All right, Joseph Hill called me up one day and he was like, John, could you come down here and, you know, and, and work the Xamarin booth? I'll give you a free monkey. He did give me a free monkey and I, and I had fun. I was telling people about Xamarin. It was, it was way back in the day before they were big, before they got acquired by Microsoft. I got, I should have just worked for them, right? I had, that was, there's my opportunity where I probably missed, left a couple of million bucks on the floor as I, I was like one of the first Xamarin trainers, probably the first, uh, I was the first online course for Xamarin training and, and yeah, I, I could have, I could have, but I, I decided to live a different dream. And this is my dream, you're watching it now. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the man I am today making these videos if I'd gone the Xamarin Road and been driving my Tesla in the Microsoft campus. Let's talk about Xamarin. All right, so I've been looking into Xamarin forms and see them as a huge potential for the mobile industry. Do you think it would be an advantage to establish ourselves as a source of top quality Xamarin lessons? I'm not sure who the ourselves is. I cut this out of some email. All right, so, all right, he says, I feel that grasping a new emerging technology like Xamarin could be a route to see this blog succeed by establishing a demand for an audience that does not heavily exist, but has the potential to be massive in the future. So I'll, I'll just tell you kind of where my thoughts are. I mean, this is kind of an old email actually. And at that time I would have said, Xamarin's gonna get acquired from, by Microsoft. And they did, that's awesome. Uh, but you know, I can't say that I predicted it now unless I said, I probably said it in some video at some point or entre programmers or something. I, I predicted, by the way, in entre programmers that Trump was going to win the election before he even said he was running for president. You can find that in one of the Entre Programmers episodes, one of the old ones. That That's my claim to fame, okay? Yeah, I, I predicted that. And I predicted it the whole way along the whole election that he was going to win. I did, and it's on multiple videos. It's It's been on YouTube, it's been on Entre Programmers. You can check that out. So I got a pretty good track record for picking one thing. <laughs> All right, uh, as far as Xamarin though, uh, like I said, I love the technology. I think it's an awesome technology. It's an awesome group of people that 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 are behind Xamarin. Okay, I think that Xamarin forms. Well, okay, so I did mobile development, right? 
believe it, believe it or not, I actually have apps in the App Store. I did Android and iOS development. I did native development with Java on Android and I, I, Objective C on, on on iOS. I did really. Objective C is a pain in the ass. All right, I didn't get. I haven't gotten to use Swift yet, but. And then I did the Xamarin stuff and I saw how easy it was to do Xamarin development on those platforms and I was blown away and I became a Xamarin. That was when I became the Xamarin fanboy, to be honest. But there was still a problem. I had to develop my own framework to like abstract away the differences between the, the two platforms. And they are different and it is hard. And so I built my own thing to do that. And then Xamarin Forms comes along and it does it better. And to, to me, I see a huge value in that, right? Because basically, if you're building an app today, you're building an iOS and Android version of the app, okay? And that means that you're either doing it natively or using some kind of cross-platform tool. And even if you're using a cross-platform tool like Xamarin, with, without the forms part of it, you're still having to write specific code for iOS and for Android and or create abstraction layers and do all this stuff, unless you're using something like Titanium where the UA is generated. If you want a real native looking UI, you kind of have to do it specifically for the platform. But Xamarin Forms, makes it so that you don't, the, most of that is encapsulated for you. And that's only gonna get better, right? Because now that Xamarin is part of Microsoft, it's being built right into Visual Studio. There's a, a Visual Studio for Mac, which is basically Xamarin Studio. If I, if I could predict the future again, I'm gonna say that this is gonna become a major player. I think this is gonna become one of the de facto standards. Plus, right, how much of Microsoft developers, C-sharp developers are there? Right, and how many of them have to write mobile apps for their Microsoft Microsoft centric companies? And what are they going to use? They're going to use the the blessed by Microsoft solution, which is Xamarin Forms. Right, that is going to make it makes sense to me. So I think that it's that you're going to have a huge number of developers that are going to want to use this technology, going to want to use know how to use the technology right, and they're going to have moolah because these are Microsoft shops that are going to be the primary customers here. So I think it's a good idea. I would invest in this, right? I could be wrong, but I see this as, as the future. We'll see what happens with Microsoft. I think Microsoft is going to make one more play at the phone market. And I think they've got a shot, honestly, because this is what Microsoft is good at. Some people say, oh, I don't know, John, you saw what they did with the with the Windows phone. Yeah, that was just a, a, a trial, okay? They, one of the things that Microsoft is really good at is like taking stuff that is becoming late to the market and fixing the problems and innovating in an already innovated market and then bringing that together and, and solving all the issues, right? So they sit and watch for a while and they see the failures and they see the mess ups and then they come up with something new and that, that's better than everything. They Sometimes they do that and succeed and sometimes they fail, Zoom. <laughs> but I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But if that does happen and Microsoft does build a phone platform, I guarantee you like the biggest advantage is gonna be the Xamarin Forms developer that it's gonna automatically gonna work for that phone plus Android and iOS, right? I think Microsoft has some kind of strategy here, right? With Xamarin Forms, they didn't just buy Xamarin for no reason at all. There's something going on. So I think that it's a good investment. I could be wrong, but who knows? So I'm, I'm bullish on Xamarin and Xamarin Forms especially. That's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. All right, if you like this video, if you want to get more videos like this one, if you wanna get videos that tell you how to live a better life, how to become a better developer, how to unlock your full potential, or you just like hearing me talk, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll talk to you next time, take care.